Leonard's gone, <laughs> and he's not here to speak for himself. So if I give you a little history of what a nice guy he was before he started hanging out with the wrong group of people, um, you can understand him a little better. Father, I will not forget you. Lenny is dead. He dropped dead in jail on December 23rd, 1993, just two days before Christmas. I was fighting with him at the time. He was, for the most part, a charming, prolific second-generation Dago who was the oldest brother of four children growing up on the tough streets of Collinwood in Cleveland, Ohio. While Lenny had brains aplenty, he preferred using his brains, charms, and fists to drink, gamble, fight, and f I think. That's the whole point. Dead Lenny is my father. I will always honor you. He died before I was born. I never got to meet him. I never knew he was actually existed. He died before I um, was born. Max Trem, my only son. Max wants to get to know dead Lenny. I think I want him to get to know him too. Cassidy Trem, she's four. She gives me squishy hugs that would melt Satan's heart. This is my film about four young children getting to know their dead grandpa. I wanted to ask you a few questions about um, Grandpa Lenny. What was your favorite thing to do with him? Did he like hockey? Did he like your brothers? Did he play with you? What kind of car did he like to drive in him? I'll be there to keep your light shining. I'll be there. Well, I think he'd be a nice grandpa, but I don't think he'd be a nice person. His dad did a lot of bad things. No, I'm just a little confused. He did a lot of bad things in his life, but he forgave God, so he probably went to heaven still. It's important to me because we're going to be able to document this forever, and I'm getting to know my grandpa for sure. And Father. Did he like root beer? Where are all our memories? 